A lot of us van lifers are not mechanics by any stretch of the imagination. Sam and I really want to get ahead of this and learn how to do the basic maintenance on our van from the get-go. So today we're going to be changing our oil and oil filter, which should be a relatively easy, dare I say, <laughs> process. Seriously, we think we found the oil filter. It is not in an easy place. So we thought it would be an excellent idea to film the entire process of our first oil change so you can possibly do it yourself. we need to drain the oil. We need something to catch the oil in, something like this, and we need a 19mm socket to remove the oil bolt. So, let's go under the van. So what we're looking for, as you come under the van, is that container there. This container here, and there will be a bolt on the side. It won't be right beneath it, it will be on the side, so that the oil comes spurting out that way. Once you've cracked the bolt, it should be very easy to actually unscrew with your hand. Voila! Woohoo! So whilst the oil is draining, you can actually check the oil. So the oil should not contain any metal flakes, shouldn't contain any contaminants or any other sort of things in there. It should just be kind of a black, gloopy liquid. Now as the oil starts to drain, you'll have to kind of move your container over like that because it will start dripping inwards. So whilst the oil is draining, the next thing you need to locate is your oil filter. Now in most cars, they're located underneath the car. So you just go underneath the car and unscrew it. But in vans, most vans that we've seen, they're buried right in the heart of the engine, which makes them very difficult to remove. Why do they do that? I don't know, probably to charge more on labor so you have to go to a garage. But we're gonna to attempt to do it ourselves. Our oil filter is in there. Let me show you closer. Let's take you through the engine. <gasps> right, so see that thing with the big hexagonal bolt on top? That is the oil filter. So if you look from a zoomed out perspective, it is buried right in the heart of the engine and we need to figure out how to remove that. So there's no chance in hell we're ever gonna reach it if we don't remove something. So we're gonna remove this air intake first because it's quite easy to remove and it gives a lot of space. So that tiny thing is all that comes off. So you need to keep these, I think there's four bolts. You need to keep them very safe. Just keep, there we go. Oh. And that, is it loose? One trip to screw fix and 50 pounds later, we've upgraded our ratchet set. What we needed was this, just that, a 32 mil socket. But they didn't sell a 32 mil socket, they sold sets. And we needed a set, you know, because we're repairing our own van, so we end up buying a set. And you'll be lucky to know that this 32 mil socket does indeed fit the bolt on our oil filter. So there's not enough space for me, the tools, the camera and a light. But this goes on the hexagonal bolt that is here on the screen and you just put that on and you loosen it. So it does take a bit of undoing sometimes. They're only meant to be hand tightened but over time the engine kind of, you know, the oil goes in warm, it expands, contracts and it kind of fuses itself a little bit. Now unfortunately there's not much you can do about the mess. You're just going to have to pull it out, put on towel as quickly as possible to avoid spilling oil all over your engine. That is the oil filter. So this bit on the top, this is where I was attaching that hexagonal bolt to. This papery foldy thing is actually the oil filter. This is the thing that we're going to replace. Now that you've got this out, it's a good time to inspect the oil filter. So what you'll do, you'll split these pleats apart and in here, it should be black because the oil has to travel through this piece of filter paper essentially to get around the engine. So anything that's not meant to go in the engine will be trapped in this filter, which is why you have to replace it. So that's the old oil filter. So on here, there are three seals. There's one small one right at the end here. There's a slightly bigger one just here. And then there is a really big one at the other end, usually in one of the screw lines, it's, our one is right here. Now, if you were to get new oil seals, you take these off and you put new ones on and pre-oil them before you put them on. Right, so this is the oil filter that we got this time. And it, it does not have new seals. It should, in my opinion, but we didn't know that. So next time we will. So this is what the oil filter looks like when it's clean. Yep, it's nice and non-black. <laughs> yep, there you go, bristles. And all you do is just pop it back on. Doesn't matter which way, and it should click like that. The old oil filter 
is gone new oil filters in here and we just pop this back in the hole where we unscrewed it from and then all you do is you hand tighten it so if you're struggling to hand tighten it you can get your ratchet but the important thing is to not tighten it a lot just as much as you could tighten with your hand not don't yank on the ratchet and tighten it as much as it was when you loosened it because it's going to get tight over time there you go and you feel when it gets tight let's give it a little one and that's it so now that the oil filter's changed we can just put the air vent back on as it was so with that tightened on and the oil filter replaced now all we need to do is put the oil drain plug back and fill the engine up with oil and you'd never want to do this with a ratchet always by hand first there we go and then just tighten it a little bit with your ratchet and you'll feel it tighten up quite firmly and then you just give it a little tug and that's it then you just clean up this area so that there's not residual oil just leaking so as for the oil that you have to put in your engine each engine needs a different type of oil there's a code on all the oil which is this number here will have a number then a w a dash and another number all you need to do is go online i've left a calculator down below you just type in your number plate and it will tell you what type of oil your vehicle needs oil is basically the blood of your engine imagine if you got really bad blood or the wrong type of blood you wouldn't really function well as a person so put the right oil in put a good brand in and change it when it's needed and it will help your engine run nice and smooth so the oil cap on your engine where you fill it will have this symbol on this little yellow oil can usually it should be pretty damn obvious so then we'll put our funnel in and you just pour it in as oh, you can it looks, like, it looks like liquid gold so as you can see this oil is not black this is the color that oil is when it's brand new and goes in your engine over time it picks up particulates from the fuel from the outside from the inside of your engine just wear and tear and that's the reason why it goes black so there you go we put six and a half liters of oil in and as you can see it's exactly halfway through the hashed area when the oil is at the low end of the dipstick that means you have one liter less than your engine should need that's the top tip and there you are seven liters later exactly full perfect so after you've done all of that there's one more thing that you need to do you need to close everything up start the engine and check for leaks there we go it starts now we're going to go down underneath to check for leaks So you might be wondering what to do with your old oil. So you can pour it in the containers that you got the new oil in. So this is now filled with our old oil. And then either you can take it to your local garage. In some countries, they will accept it for free. In this country, in the UK, they don't. But in that case, you come to your local recycling center and they'll have a big oil drum that you can pour it in. 